Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Jain and today I'm just gonna explain you how you can install a Ethereum blockchain platform for your local development and testing and to make your more understanding on what exactly the blockchain platform is and how does it work and how you can develop a decentralized application over the blockchain platform, you know. So uh, why, why I choose uh, Ethereum because Ethereum is the first blockchain platform which is a programmable blockchain. When I say it's programmable, it means there are few programming languages written specifically for you know the Ethereum blockchain to just control the execution or the functionality within a blockchain platform. And few of them are the Solidity which is heavily being used to just create the smart contract which runs on the blockchain platforms, right? Apart from Solidity, there are a few more like SUP and Triple and Newton, but I mean, but Solidity is the one which is getting popular and it is being used by most of the developer nowadays, right? So there are, these are few basic concepts, uh, you know, the blockchain is nothing but which allows, you know, to uh, create an application which can do the business in a very trustable, secure and automated fashion across the globe. You, so you don't need to know each other, but still you can create an application which can do the transaction between them, right? And rather than, you know, just uh, moving, uh, just uh, talk about, you know, more on uh, a functionality perspective, let me directly jump to how you can install you know so so first to install you know the blockchain platform ethereum blockchain platform you need to have a node.js version greater than 6.11.0 right so first let me check which version i am running on so i have okay so it's 7.9.0 for me but uh, before uh, installing the ethereum blockchain platform you need to have this node.js version greater than 6. 11 right so there are the, I, i'll just put a i'll just put a video reference which you can refer to just install a node.js either on our windows and the linux machine wherever you want to install this right and after that what you have to do is you have to create a folder wherever you want to have you know your ethereum blockchain created for example i can just put here ethereum any name you i mean it's not that you have to put the same name what i am putting is but you can just uh, put any name over here and once it is done then you have to uh, but but uh, but how i am just going to install it i am just going to install it with the npm npm is nothing but it's a node package manager which comes when you will be installing a node.js so no need to worry about this the command is npm install ganache cli and just enter it and it will start doing you know installing a lot of stuff for you dependency and all those stuff uh, since I have already done it, uh, so what you will have is uh, once that uh, that that installation will be completed successfully, that node underscore module folder will be created wherever you are, you know, just installing that, right? So by default, you will get that node modules, right? Let me check what exactly happening there. Yeah, it's installing. So let me just cancel that out because it's already done for me. See, uh, so. I have this node modules you have to once it is done then you will have all these folder listed down here and you have to go into the dot bin folder and dot bin folder you will scroll down you will have this ganache cli and you have to just click on it right so and this is how it's gonna look like right so you will have the accounts then you will have the corresponding keys and the, uh, there is you know the the concept why we why do we need to have accounts and the keys to run the transition over the ethereum blockchain platform and for you know explaining these accounts and key concepts i'll be creating the uh, further videos to explain what exactly the account and how does this keys things works right but uh, i'm not putting that that information in this video right maybe i'll be creating another one to just make you comfortable or make you understand on those concepts right the 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 another part which i wanted to show you is this is the folder uh, where I have that. So let me just close few of the screens. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Oops, sorry for that. So this is the folder where that node underscore module was there, where I just went into the dot bin folder. Then I just uh, click, double click on that Ganache CLI to have this screen 
up and running so it means that my ethereum blockchain is running on this local host on 8545 right so so there are few clients through which you can interact with this ethereum and there are smart contracts which you can register and deploy over the network but i am not covering that part how you can create a contract how you can write a solidity program then how you can uh, invoke those functionality but i'm just giving you some of the uh, some of the client through which you can interact with the Ethereum and you can check whether you are able to use that client or not. So the, the very famous client is Web3, right? And Web3 and Web3.js. And for Web3.js, again, you have to use this npm install Web3 and 0.200. This is the latest one when I'm just doing this installation and showing you that. So what you have to do, you have to figure it out the which one is the latest one for the Web3.js and you have to just give this and you will be able to just install that right and once that is installed successfully what you have to do you have to just go into the node right and you just need to run few of awesome. commands which i have already captured so, so make it this so first uh i'm just running this command web3 equal to so, it, so i'm just importing that web3 module right and then i am just you know tagging that local host port right so it means now uh, web3 has been you know uh, start you know start listening to this particular port and whatever application is being run on this through this application this web3 you can access the information whatever the endpoints are exposed by that right so for doing that the very first thing we have see the accounts right mm. how can i how can i check that whether the accounts are i am able to fetch through this client or not so for doing that, what I have to do is uh, there is web 3etheaccounts I'll just don't worry, I'll just put all these commands how you can run it. Okay. So this is how uh, these are the accounts which I have shown you, which was uh, which, were, which were being shown when we just. Uh, make that ethereum blockchain service running on that 85 45 port you can see these are the available accounts and same are being shown over here right so that is how there are a lot of endpoints <coughs> which can be accessed through this web3 command and this these are you know some of the eth see this i use that eth and dots and these are the get balance get keys and all those stuff right and you can use all of them uh, I just show you one, but when we will be deploying contract, then we will be developing contract and double deploying and registering the contract over the Ethereum network. At that point of time, I'll be explaining most of these. So till then, uh, keep watching. And if you have any feedback or comment, please feel free to just put that in comment section. And if you face any issue by installing any Node.js or Ganache GLI or Web3, please put that issue uh, you can send me an email as well so that I'll be I'll be I'll be more than happy to help you on that uh, Thanks for watching this and please don't forget to subscribe and if you and Keep learning and stay tuned. Thank you very much